Okay, everyone, we're ready to make a start. Um, I'm just going to hand over then to Alistair, who you can see on the screen now, um, and he's going to um, introduce himself um, and get straight into this webinar. Thanks very much uh, for joining us. Just give me a moment and I'll just switch the microphone over. Okay, Alistair, I think we're ready to begin. Okay. So, hi guys, um, thank you for joining us, as Liam's already said. Um, welcome to the webinar on how we, Matrix, can support uh, schools uh, and institutes in Scotland or anyone delivering the SQA in engineering, engineering Science at National 5. Um, we, we put these webinars together and we hope you get a lot from them. Um, what I've done is I've, I've gone to the SQA, I've, I've picked out their learning outcomes and I've broken them down and I've mapped it directly with the products and courseware that we have uh, and that's what we're going to do. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go through a presentation uh, with the learning outcomes and how we can support with those learning outcomes. Um, as Liam's already said, if you've got any questions, if you could add them to the chat or unmute yourself at any time, uh, because after the presentation, I'm going to do some product demos, show you a couple of products, and then I'm also going to have um, time for that Q&A uh, where you can basically ask any questions. Um, also, after this, if you've got questions further down the line, if you want pricing, I'm not going to go into pricing today um, on any of the products or, or support. Um, so if you've got questions on pricing or you want to know more, please just get in contact with me, give me a call, send me an email. I can, I can go in more pr product uh, detail. I can chat to you over the phone. And, you know, let, let's, let's keep chatting after this in, because we're, we're really happy to support you. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the presentation and uh, let's go from there. Yeah. We're just switching over the mics now. So give us two, two seconds. Okay, if anyone has any issues um, with um, sound or anything like that, we'll do our best to, to obviously help you. Just um, do let us know. Um, so we've just switched the microphone now. You should be able to hear us um, pretty well. We're just going to share a presentation with you. Um, and that has now been done. And so you should be able to uh, see our screen and the presentation that Alistair is now going to deliver. So I'm just going to hand over to him and um, he will begin. Yeah, cheers guys. So firstly, who, who am I? So my name's Alistair. I'm sure you've received a couple of emails from me by now. I might have even met uh, a few of you um, because I've been working with Matrix and for Matrix uh, for, for five years now. Um, and my role until the, 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 the COVID was, was to go out, it was to meet schools, it was to meet uh, um, educational institutes and, and demonstrate how we can support them with the delivery of technical curriculum uh, and their lessons. Um, obviously, since COVID's happened, uh, you know, since what's happened recently, uh, my role has changed slightly and it's going to be, at least for the time being, uh, a lot more um, through webinars like this one, through the phone. Um, so um, I've visited throughout my time at Matrix uh, loads and loads of Scottish schools that are delivering engineering science. And while I'm not actually an engineer, I've picked uh, up engineering uh, since working with Matrix. Um, and I've, I've got, I've, I've gathered a lot of information on engineering science and I've learned a lot about engineering, engineering science just by meeting uh, teachers that teach engineering science over the years. Um, so if anybody has any questions after this presentation, please get in, in, in touch with me. I, I love speaking to people. So who are Matrix? So Matrix uh, were founded in 1993. Um, that was actually the same year as my birth. Um, and we started off by, um, we, we manufactured and we designed CD-ROMs with that were based around curriculum. So it was math, science, engineering. Um, but as soon as the uh, new internet came around, uh, that kind of killed us because all that information was freely available on the web. On the web. Uh, so we diversified and we started actually manufacturing 
um, technical products and, and uh, curriculum for technical education, such as engineering, such as science, uh, etc., electronics, electrical. Um, we're based in Halifax. Some of you may know that that's in West Yorkshire. It's very central in the United Kingdom. Uh, when I was doing my traveling up to Scotland, I could get to Glasgow or Edinburgh in around four hours. Um, we spend an awful lot of, of, of our uh, turnover, about 30%, on research and development into the next product, um, the next products that we want to sort of help you guys with. So a lot of our money does go to, to, the, to what we can help in the future. Um, we, we've 23 out of the 26 as well, 27 years now, we've, been, we, we've, we've, been, we've, we've grown. Um, we've, we've been profitable in every year. Uh, we sell into 50 countries and we, about 65% of our business is to overseas, is export. Uh, and also throughout the world, we've got 60 international agents and dealers. So what, what should you know about Matrix? What, what's good about Matrix? Um, <clears throat> I mean, a lot of the companies, they, they, will, they always boast that quality products but at Matrix, it really is, is the truth. Uh, before before um, the coronavirus, I actually went to a, a college um, in London and they had one of our products, Lotronics, which you may, may be aware of, that they, they bought about 28 years ago, and it, 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 uh, 25, 26 years ago. Um, and it's still being used in the classroom today because um, it's rugged, it's hard wearing, uh, and, and it's made in the United Kingdom. That's another uh, big one for us. You know, we don't cut, cut corners when it comes to our manufacturing here in Halifax. Um, now, another thing that we, we like to boast about is the quality curriculum. All of our kits have uh, free online uh, resources that I'm going to go into in a bit more depth in just a moment. Um, another thing that we boast about is the uh, price per learning outcome so relatively so our, our products are, uh, 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 they represent very good value it, it, it's, it's towards the smaller end of the price spectrum uh, but what you get for that is actually a heck of a lot in terms of um, learning and, and, and deliverable work for your students now all our kits also come in a compact solution we're very aware that schools uh, such as yourselves may not have total access to a lab at all times so the the kits are, are pack awayable into the grapnels um, boxes and then they're very portable so you can move them from one class to another um, and, that, and that's another great thing about what we're about now another positive is that from when you order the maximum amount of lead times usually about four weeks realistically it can be one or two weeks before you actually get the delivery of your learning uh, hardware and products uh, but a maximum of four weeks which is pretty good for the educational industry if not one of the best so as i mentioned it a moment ago but one of the the real unique things about matrix is that all of our lesson plans and teachers notes and our curriculum is actually available on our website freely. You could even go on there now and it's there. It's all there to just read and, and go through. That's www.matrixtsl.com forward slash learning. Uh, and in these uh, work workbooks, you have in the back, you have teacher's notes, uh, lesson plans, um, revision plans. And in the front, you have the uh, things for the students to use and to read so that that's the front is for the students to read you can print them out um and, and that's that they're like i said they're freely available i mean they're not there and designed to to get rid of the teacher they're they're really designed to help the teacher with time saving and lesson planning and that sort of thing we all know how valuable teachers time is So here is, is the main part of, of what I wanted to get onto. The, the National Five, you guys that are using Engineering Science uh, SQA. What I've done is I've, I've, I've actually broken down the learning outcomes. Uh, they run down the left here and how we can help you with those. 
So running down the right, you can see with all of the learning outcomes that are practical, hands-on uh, learning outcomes, we actually cover. Um, now, the other ones, the ones that say theoretical next to that, um, they're ones that's not necessarily hands-on, it's not necessarily practical. So, for example, impacts of engineering, it's very theoretical, whereas drive systems, pneumatics, that's very, ha very hands-on, and we cover that. Okay? So, the first learning outcome I'm going to uh, cover on how we can help is the energy and efficiency. Now, for this subject uh, and this learning outcome, um, we will help, the kit we, we've got to help is our kit called Potential and Kinetic Energy Kit. This is one of our kits in our mechanical range. Um, you'll see here there's a, a solid baseboard. Now, all of our mechanical kits use this baseboard. It's very hard wearing, it's very rugged. It's uh, made in, in the UK and the next thing, the um, learners has to have to get a, a, a tray of components. In this case, it's the potential and kinetic energy. And you add those components to the, to the metal baseboard. So in, in this particular kit, the learning is focused around kinetic and potential energy in a pendulum, elastic potential energy in a spring, and kinetic energy in a flywheel. Um, and, the, and the students will learn how to demonstrate the differences between potential and kinetic energy and how that can change from one to the other using a pendulum or a flywheel. Okay, so that's energy and efficiency. Uh, another learning outcome that we cover very well um, is the analog electronic control systems. Um, for this particular uh, learning outcome, the kit we have is called Electricity, Magnetism and Materials. Now that kit is actually a Locktronics kit. I'm sure many of you have used, if not know of Locktronics. It's, it's been around for a long, long time. It's, it's stood the test of time. We've developed and improved it uh, as we've gone along. Um, you basically get this, this green baseball that you can see on your screen here. Uh, you get a tray of components and you add the components to the, to the, tr to the um, baseboard and build circuitry as you go. So we reckon this covers this particular kit covers around 95, 96, 97 percent of what's needed for this learning outcome, uh, and it comes with two complete sets of teachers' notes and student handouts. It covers things like series and parallel, current flow, heat and magnetism, electrical sensors, relays and electromagnets, simple circuits, and diodes. Uh, so you know it's got two two lesson lesson workbooks. As I've told you. And it really is a comprehensive book and it assumes no prior knowledge in circuitry. So it's a real good starting point. We recommend about one kit between two students. Now, obviously, you, you know, that might change due to budgets and things like that. We do have uh, schools in Scotland that are using one kit between four students and they seem to be getting on OK as well. Um, but like I say, ideally one between two. So the, the, another learning outcome that we cover nicely is the digital electronic control systems learning outcome. Uh, for this particular learning outcome, we have two relevant products. One's a software called Flowcode. Now, you may be aware of Flowcode. Um, it, it, it's basically a software that um, is used for programming microcontrollers such as PICs or Arduinos. The user will create a flowchart. Now, everyone can, can draw a flowchart. Flow chart, or design a flow chart, it's a drag and drop. Um, and what that does, it converts the flow chart to the language of the microcontroller. Um, and then you can simulate what the microcontroller should be doing on screen. So flow code, actually, you don't need hardware. You can use hardware with it. Um, however, for this particular uh, learning outcome, hardware isn't totally necessary for the programming side. So the, that's why flow code is uh, very, very usable because you can do a lot of the simulations on screen. Another uh, key product for digital electronic control systems is the combinational logic add-on kit. Um, give me a second. Now this is similar to the electricity, magnetisms and materials kit. It's a Locktronics kit. Um, and it's an add-on kit, so you would need a base kit like the electricity kit that I mentioned earlier. 
this is uh, where it's, 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 it's a lot more in depth than the electricity, magnetism and materials. It's a lot more precise. This, this is learning about logic it's, it's, uh, and logic gates. So there you've got not, NAND, OR, NOR and XOR gates. There's also further learning about three input gates, logic diagrams, equivalent gates, Boolean expressions, which are all key for the digital electronic control systems learning outcomes. And, and like all our kits, it comes with the free curriculum, your teacher's notes, your lesson plans. Um, and, for, and for many of the teachers, uh, they're one, one or two lessons ahead of the students because some of these, you know, are quite difficult topics. The next learning outcome that we cover quite nicely is drive systems. Um, again, it, this is based on our mechanical um, kits. So the first one is gear trains. Now this kit includes a selection of different gears for experiments to find their unique characteristics. So the gears that's included are spur gears, bevel gear, and a worm drive. The spur gear, the spur gears, should I say, have two sets of teeth on the same shaft and they allow extra experiment in compound gear trains. Students test each set of gears to see how it works and note the differences in characteristics such as efficiency, gear ratio and mechanical advantage for each set. The kit introduces students to key engineering terms such as efficiency, gear ratio, mechanical advantage and velocity ratio. So that's the gear trains kit which is relevant for this drive systems learning outcome. Another kit which is that we have is also named likewise drive system. So obviously it's <laughs> very relevant. Now this kit demonstrates the advantages and the disadvantages of three popular drive systems, belt, chain and universal coupling. It uses a, a manual rotated frame with a low friction cantilever linkage and adjustable masses and a spring to apply force. The kit introduces students to key engineering terms such as gear ratio, pulley ratio and efficiency. So that's how we sort of uh, suffice and, and, and help you with the drive systems. The next learning outcome is pneumatics. I'm sure a lot of you have seen our pneumatic kits throughout Scotland. They're already very, very popular in Scotland. Um, similar to the Lotronics, um, it, with the automatics, the brand's called automatics, but it's, it's pneumatics, is a, is a hands-on learning tool. And you basically get a baseboard, you get a tray of components, very similar to the Lotronics, and you attach the components to create pneumatic circuitry. Um, you, might have, you might have called it economatics, I believe, Liam, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, we changed names a few a few years ago, but it did used to be called Economatics. Uh, we changed the name, um, but it is called Automatics now. Uh, but like I say, almost all the schools I go in, in Scotland either have or have used um, Automatics. It, it, it's a great way of learning. And it's quite, the pneumatics is quite heavy in the engineering science at Nash, Nat, Nat 5 and higher national. Um, and there is now, I think there was a change about two years ago where you, where you now have to, uh, do um, an experiment you, well, or you, you could be asked about an experiment about pneumatics. So all the components in the pneumatics like the Lotronics include the circuit symbols. Um, it comes with a variety of different valves uh, that can be used to produce logic function, semi-automatic and automatic reciprocation and it's a really good way for students to get hands-on with pneumatics. In the automatics, obviously, you, you get everything you need. So you get your baseboard, you get a tray of components, you get the T-junctions the that attach the components to, to the board. Uh, you, can, you get your reservoir, you, get, um, you, can buy, um, you can buy a compressor extra as well if you don't have compressed air in your lab or classrooms. And the next kit that we would recommend for the NAT5 uh, again, all these kits do come with lesson plans and teacher's notes. Um, this is the, uh, an add-on kit to the Automatics Essentials. This is Electro-Pneumatics. So this basically, um, 
this introduces electronics to your pneumatic circuitry. Um, so now you've got electrically operated valves, you've got electric switches, um, and it's about combining the two and learning about how electronics and pneumatics can work together. It covers things like, the lesson plans cover things like solenoid operated pneumatic valves, use of electrical sensors for circuit control, using micro switches as limit switches, expressing electrical circuits as ladder diagrams, <coughs> excuse me, and also electrically operated reciprocal circuits. So this kit, again, it goes with the automatics essentials and it takes the learning to an electro pneumatic uh, side. So another learning outcome that's uh, expressed in the, in the National Five is structures and forces. We've got two kits for this. One is the moments kit. Um, this kit includes a rigid beam for experiments in principles of moments, extending to levers and beams. It shows the three main lever types, so first, second, and third order, and it also includes an L, an L-shaped plate for experiments in bell crank levers. A pulley also allows extra experiments with moments caused by oblique forces. So that's the moments kit. Now, obviously, the forces kit is again heavily involved in the structures and forces learning uh, learning unit. This kit includes a set of different plastic shapes for experiments in cent centers of gravity for two dimensional objects. It also includes pulleys, weights, and magnetic protra protractor for experiments in concurrent and non concurrent coplanar forces and angles. The selection of pulleys and weights allows you to create force triangles, polygons, and linked polygons. Got also does touch on Bose Nation and the parallelograms of, parallelograms of forces. The last section that we offer support with um, is the materials, the material section. Now. With the materials section, the kit we I will show you in a second, I'll, I'll show you this kit in, in just a moment, is our tensile tester kit. Again, it's one of the mechanical kits. So you get the mechanical uh, baseboard and you add a tensile tester to it. Now, this kit includes, <coughs> comes with t uh, four different specimens, um, which is different materials. The students stretch each specimen to destruction and then measure the extension and the force. So it, it, the, the, the different specimens it comes with are steel, aluminium, duralumin. Sorry, it's, it's three, it's not four, it's three, it's three different um, materials. So it's steel, aluminium and duralumin. And the students stretch the materials to destruction and they take the measurements of extension. The test introduces students to terms like overall stress and, and yield and strain yield properties, tensile strength, and elongation. So that's the tensile tester kit, which I will show you in a moment. Now I'm going to actually show you some kit now, uh, so you can get a flavor for how, how hands-on they are and, and exactly what, what you, you would get if, if you went with, went with some of our support. I'm just going to change so that I can t turn the microphone to the other microphone. Give me a moment. In fact, Liam's going to do it. One second. Okay, guys, as Alistair says, we're just going to um, move over to another camera now so we can sh share some um, equipment with you. So I'm just going to stop uh, sharing the screen. Um, we're going to move the microphone over um, and then we will just adjust the camera itself. So just give us a couple of moments. Just make sure that I can... Take it back a touch. No, that's perfect. Let's just go back. Super. Okay. Is my microphone? Yep. If I am, um, everyone should be able to hear Alistair um, and myself relatively clearly now, and Alistair will take you through some of the demonstrations as we go through this. If anyone, as we said earlier, has any questions, pop them in the chat, and in um, in five minutes or so, once we've shown you the kit itself, hopefully we'll be able to answer any questions that you've got. So firstly, the, the, main, the first thing I wanted to show you was that this is the uh, curriculum. So all of the kits do come with curriculum. 
the, in the back you've got your teacher's notes running through to the front. This, this one's actually about electro pneumatics. So you can see there's plenty of diagrams in there. There you are. Um, and in the front it's lesson plans and teacher's notes. So this is for learning about pneumatics. Um, I've put together a, a, a rig here. This is the baseboard. As you can see, it's quite chunky. The, the tube in here, it comes with wire, uh, for, it comes with tubing cutters so the students can cut the tube into length and design their own circuitry or follow the, the circuits that you, put, you, you um, give them or that are in the booklet. You can see here the manifold so you can get the, the you can get tubing coming out of there. This is the compressor I men mentioned, uh, oops, sorry. This is the compressor I mentioned earlier. So if you've got a lab that isn't wired for, for compressed air um, or you want, want to have more of a portable um, kit, you can do because this, this literally just runs off the mains uh, and it, it, it works quite nicely. It's not heavy at all. A um, couple of individual, um, this is a 3-2 valve. You can see that there, can you see that Liam? Yeah, that's the three that you can see there, they've printed on a three, two valve. Uh, they've, they've printed the um, circuit symbols on all the components. This is a two way switch, uh, a switch should I say, a micro switch. So uh, you can see the circuit symbol there. This here is a two way cylinder. Again, it's heat on boss there. And the way that you attach the, uh, the components is through this T system. So you just turn that and it, and it locks onto the, um, to the baseboard. So next we have Locktronics, which is for teaching of circuitry and electrical. Um, you can see the, they, these also have the circuit symbols heat embossed on. In the background, you've got the, um, the mirror, so you can see exactly exactly what's underneath this is the this is a baseboard here so it's a plug and play system the components sort of clip on um, and you can you can see how quickly you can you can create circuits so here you've got a little voltmeter um, for learning about uh, measuring electricity you've got a switch here a bulb a wire and this is a, um, a resistor and like I mentioned, like I mentioned earlier, it all clips and put, gets put away into this box. So underneath, you can put your your baseboard, your power supply. Again, it's all at safe voltages. It's, it goes up to 12 volts, so it's all safe and, and, and student proof and student friendly. Um, other things you get in the this is the actually the electricity, magnetism, and materials kit. In this, you get um, um, this is a, a coil, a relay, motors. You get a diode, a buzzer, an ammeter, and a voltmeter, some resistors. There's a thermocouple there, a, um, a fuse, and some bulbs and, and, and normal wires. So everything you'd need to complete the, the book. Um, in all our mechanical kits, it uses the, uh, the mechanical essential baseboard. So all of them, it is essential that you buy this. Without that, you can't really do these, the experiments, but it's, it's very hard wearing and rugged. And this is the tensile tester that is needed for the uh, materials learning objective. Um, you can see here, you've got, you've got the dial which measures the, 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 the pull. You can turn this. It's got this, it's got this plastic um, like lid on so that you, if when that snaps, when we've stretched it so far, there's no shards, so there's there's no safety implications. The student will turn this whilst measuring how far it's been stretched, and then all of a sudden, well, it should I mean it's getting harder to do, harder to turn. You can see there now, it's going to snap at any minute. It's getting really hard for me to turn that now. Maybe it's a lot more elastic than I thought. There you go, big bang. Uh, so yeah, that that that's the tensile tester. If you were doing it re in real, you'd, you'd you'd attach that to the um, the baseboard there. Okay. 
yeah, that, that, that's, that's, that's the uh, kits I'm going to show you guys. Let me just move the... Uh... Do we have any questions? Is there anything that's come through, Liam? Um, there's no questions at the moment. Um, if anyone has any questions, now is um, the, the right time, I guess, to ask those. Um, we're happy to stick around for a few minutes if anyone has any questions. Please don't hesitate to put them in the chat. We will um, follow this up by uh, sending you the recording of this webinar. Um, Alistair can also provide um, pr any pricing and quotation that you might want on any of the equipment that you've seen. Um, so please, if you would like any of that, do not hesitate to get in touch with us. I will also send the uh, recording of this uh, webinar to you guys via an email and, and, and the slides, yeah. Nothing as of yet? Okay, um, we will assume that everyone's happy and heard all of the information that they wanted to get from this. Um, so we will take the decision to end the webinar here um, and we will be in touch with you very soon. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Oh, just a moment. We have a question. Oh, we have a question. <laughs> okay. Um, this is Ashley who's asking... Where do we find the pupil and teacher resources oh, at the okay. learning centre? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we have a what, what's called the learning centre, Ashley. Uh, basically, if you go to www.matrixtsl.com forward slash learning, they're all there. You, you basically there's a list um, of all the, the the learning curriculums that we offer. Um, you can click on them at any time uh, and they're, they're actually as PDFs so you can click on them, you can download them, you can print them out but they're all available on our website which is www.matrixtsl.com and then it's forward slash learning. Liam's put it in the chat as well. Okay. All right, we'll conclude. Thank you very much for joining us and hopefully speak to you guys soon. Cheers. Bye.